Hi guys, and welcome back to um, a new series. Oh, sorry, not welcome back. Welcome to a new series on the channel. That's why it automatically went into my uh, Let's Play introduction there. Um, today we're going to be talking about how you can build um, kind of a transport hub with no mods. This is played on the PC, but I'm pretty sure that you can replicate this on the console versions. Um, as long as you have uh, some of the expansions that we're going to be using today. Uh, which is After Dark, uh, the Winter One. Uh, part life and industries and campus as well, but we won't be using all the assets from them uh, But I'm just going to be going over and um, how you can kind of build a main transport hub for your downtown area and um, with Essentially zero traffic issues as you can see here and um, what you're looking at right now is our main transport hub area for Friendwood, which is our vanilla city skylines. Let's play that's currently happening on the channel I'll try to remember to leave a, pl a little playlist link in the description below if you'd like to come and check this out um, but our city now is at a population of pretty much 60,000. It's fluctuating just over and under at the moment. Uh, but our public transport, uh, we're, we're having well over 10% uh, of our population are using the public transport system at the moment. You've got 6,295 residents and then just over 2,000 tourists a week. So you're looking at about 8,400, give or take a few, um, that are using our public transport network. And I'll just pop on the overlay here. Uh, so you can kind of see everything converges on this point. We have rail lines, metro, monorails and bus lines that all converge on this central point. Uh, and then from there they can then disperse throughout the city wherever they head in this direction, over there, over there, or over here. Uh, so I'm going to just go over how you can build this. And um, if, you, if you like it then don't forget to leave a like on the video. It would be, be really, really appreciated. Um, and then you can, you can just see how many people are coming through this part of town it is. Lagging my PC a little bit, but it's just about handling it. Uh, so I'm going to cut now into uh, an empty map and we'll go over how you can build this. Okay guys, so let's kick this off. Um, I started out in my city using a six lane road. Uh, however, this bit of road here can be whatever you want. It can be a roundabout. Um, it can be a um, an interchange of a highway. And in my Let's Play City, we just have a big main road that flows off here. And then there's a turn up to... The transport hub which sits here but you can really use this bit of road as whatever will help you fit it into your city as efficiently as possible uh, so we're going to go ahead and use our four lane road with bus lanes now and then we're going to come out by 1200 and uh, using the two little marker points there and then we're going to switch to some nicer roads so i use the large avenue with grass you can use whatever you want and um, i'd recommend you keep it uh, kind of no don't use really use the small roads you want kind of a much fluidity through here as possible. Uh, so what I did there, out by 600, across by 1200, and then back down here to meet the end of this road. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. And that's going to create us a perfect box with a road running straight through the middle. Uh, then you can actually use whatever kind of uh, public transport methods that you like here. You know, whatever you have in your city. Uh, for this part of the, of the hub, I used a train station. Uh, so you can imagine, you know, as you are b fitting this into your into your city, and um, you will just connect uh, your relevant train lines up to this, and these can go in all different directions. And um, you might want to use the end platform, and um, so you don't have these bits at the end coming out that way. You might not have the room. There might be buildings there, or the edge of your map, or an ocean, or whatever. You know, just kind of use either one of these train stations, um, to, to kind of suit your own map really. Uh, then we're going to come back to the main road here, and then we're going to switch to just a normal road. And then we're going to come out by a bit to the first marker, I think, up to 700. And then you're going to switch to your monorail line. And that's going to come out by 700 as well. Now again, remember you can switch these out for whatever transport method you prefer. Um, I don't like putting it on the end. What I did for mine was just put it up about here. And you can kind of just mark that out with there, so it just bends the monorail around. And then it's actually knock that back, just another tile. There you go. And then you're going to grab your monorail station. So I'm using the monorail bus hub, uh, but there's also a train one as well, and just a normal one with road. Uh, but this is what I use as my bus station, so you don't have to. Uh, use monorails here, but um, it really is up to you. That's not what I wanted to do. There you go. 
Uh, I think it's this one I wanted to upgrade, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what you want. It does take a bit of messing around with the monorails. Especially if you're not used to using them that much. Um, so what I did after here was just grabbed a bit of monorail. Um, and you guys can just take it in any direction you like. Uh, what I'll do when we finish building this bit is just go back into our city. And you can see how we've kind of implemented this. So you can take the monorail in any direction you like. And then you've also got the bus interchange here as well. Uh, then after you've done that, you want to go ahead and grab your metro stations. And kind of plop them right in the middle. That's about in the middle. So with the metro stations, at least in England, this might be different in other kind of subway and underground systems elsewhere in the world. Um, maybe like in New York or something. But in London, um, which I have experience of using the tube in London, they're kind of parallel, well not parallel lines, they're really kind of straight lines with very little curvature in them. So you'd have one running that way, and then over in that way. And then um, I'll drop in this station here and you can see. So then you're gonna put your second metro stop here. And then you can imagine that one runs in this direction, and that goes in that direction, and that direction. So you can see how it kind of covers the different areas. And then what else I did here was I also grabbed in, uh, I'll try also remember the uh, the link to the episode where we built this if you'd like to see it being built in kind of in the moment if you like. Um, so if you're going to have a lot of bus lines converging on this monorail station, then it's a good idea to kind of stagger them all coming in rather than letting the traffic build up. So what you can do is if you build a little one way, we'll go for some nice grassy banking roads here. I built a little one way system that came out to about here and then here. So you kind of build a little box and you want to do one up through here and then just like that and then again and then just like that and then what you can do is so if we draw in some bus lines right now and um, let me just place in a depot somewhere along here let's drop that in and um, okay uh, you don't want to put that there uh, so say for example if you have the the majority of your city or downtown's bus lines converging on this spot and then you have a lot of traffic, a lot of bus traffic coming down these roads and they're starting to back up. Because you know sometimes you have 20, 30 buses on a single route. Uh, and that's a lot to be converged on one point at one time. So rather than sending them all straight into here and then letting them build up, you can send them around this little one-way loop. So one bus line could come through here and then it could stop here. And then come back into the monorail station. And then join up there and then come and complete itself or goes elsewhere in the city to come back up this road. And then the second bus stop can start, say, uh, somewhere else in the city. And then it can come back through this little one-way route. And this time it can stop here. And then again, into another port in the city. And then again, complete itself. And then another line could come back through here. And then, uh, snap that one there. Uh, and then into the next little kind of stop. And then one there as well. So it just really helps stagger them. So they have to go through this little loop. And then you can kind of fill this space in with a low density commercial, a bit of paths, you can turn this into a park. So there's little bit different bits of things you can do with this area if that's what you choose to do. Um, this was an idea I think from Imperial Jedi, for those of you that follow other City Skylines YouTubers, uh, go. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Uh, he came up with this system as far as I'm aware, I don't think he stole it from anybody else. Uh, but it's really efficient and you'd be surprised how much it works just to keep buses from backing up along this main uh, central route here. Uh, and then in terms of decoration, what I went ahead and did was you can just kind of... There's a few plazas in the um, in the rewards section over here, kind of the unique buildings. So you can place these around kind of as you please. Um, there's all different kind of things you can do to decorate. Yeah, You can actually even create park districts if you like. Um, there's a lot of different policies that you can implement along this kind of this design uh, and then also a nice way that I linked it in again we'll, we'll cut back to my city in a moment before we finish this video up uh, I kind of place the big park with trees um, just along here although this one doesn't fit symmetrically so if you are a bit anal about that then probably don't use this one uh, and then this just links my city into the transport hub with kind of a series of paths and then people can spread out and around there. So what I'll do is now I'm going to cut back to our main city, uh, back to Fremwood, and you can see how this functions in action. It's a really easy build, um, 
and yeah, it works really well. I've had no traffic problems with it, and it looks pretty cool as well, I think. Um, especially since you're using no mods, there's no traffic manager stuff going on here. So for those console players, you can use it as well, um, providing you have the the expansion packs to use these roads. Uh, but most of it is pretty vanilla stuff, although I think the monorails are out of um, one of the expansions. I don't think they're in the vanilla game. So, yeah, so we'll cut back now, guys, and you can see Fremwood in action. Okay, so this is Fremwood's transport hub. You can kind of see the similar layout. I've obviously done a lot more decorating on my side of the map here. You know, we kind of have these overgrown shrubs and trees next to our railway line, which disperses throughout the city. Uh, so coming down the main road where we started from, uh, I also have the basketball arena from the campus expansion here. If you're wondering where that's from, that is from the, the most recent DLC campus. That's uh, one of the uh, Varsity, I think it's Varsity, uh, Varsity Sports Buildings. Um, yeah, so you can see here, we have our bus lines coming in. They're stopping at the train station, or at least going past the road anyway. Um, so there's a lot of people milling about here. We have a load of people um, using our metro line. See, there's 335 here last week. This one's getting 929. The monorail station's getting 406. Uh, railway station 498 and I have seen uh, during peak times after we leave this running for a little bit the railway station has broken a thousand passengers a week and again there's never any traffic issues here so following into what I've shown you with the one-way system you can see how this works here so this is what I've done with mine I've linked it onto the other side of town with a little bit of a nice parked tree area with some paths and we've got a bit of commercial uh, as where our monorail path flows through here so you can kind of see this is our monorail station all the buses are converging on this point dropping people off we've got a lot of people on this bus line here see there's 419 on this one I do actually need to add some more buses to that route um, but even still with this many people coming through the area just a little overview of the traffic there is there's literally no issues no issues at all um, so it works really efficiently. I didn't really plan for it to do that. I'm not amazing at planning and this is the first kind of tutorial video that I'm going to be doing and hopefully if you guys like it then maybe we can do some more um, kind of public transport tutorials. Well this works really efficiently and um, we have a little path linking people across as well so people can walk across um, the railway lines and then that drops them off in this side of town. And yeah it works really well so let me know if you guys try this out. Um, I'd be interested to see if you had as much success with it as I do. You can just see the volumes of people that this brings um, into the city. And again, we'll just pop on the um, the public transport overlay and you can see kind of how different routes and different methods of public transport all converge on this area. Um, so yeah, it's really good. I enjoy it. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys like it. And we'll just do uh, a couple more pans. And then, as I said, if you do try it out, uh, let me know how it works. You can kind of take this template and place it anywhere in the city. And um, you can place some tourist buildings around here as well. Like we have the spire and the, uh, I think this is the public transport hub, isn't it? Yeah, the transport tower. Um, yeah, and then this links also as well what I did here. Um, I linked our public transport hub right next to our kind of main tourist area along the coast here. Um, so yeah, but all this stuff, if you're interested in seeing kind of how we built this in the moment, there's also the expo centre down here as well. Uh, and again, the traffic is pretty much non-existent, like there's a little bit of build up here, but it moves on almost instantly. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing how we built this, there's a link in the description to my uh, City Skylines Let's Play. Uh, this is what this city is. This is Fremwood, and yeah, so I'll leave it there guys, I'll stop rambling on. If you enjoyed the video, then please let me know because I'd like to do more of these tutorial videos. And it is my first one, so hopefully it was somewhat followable and it wasn't total gibberish. Uh, if you are new to the channel, there's links in the description to my Twitch where we stream Destiny 2 on the Xbox. Um, soon to be PC in September when the cross save comes into play. Uh, we also stream some other kind of chilled out games like Hitman and FIFA and just general gaming content. There's some pretty chill streams over there. Uh, there's also a link in my description to the schedule if you'd like to know when episodes are released. And then there's also a link to my setup if you're at all interested in what I've used to make these videos. So thanks so much for watching guys and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.